Okay, we have the body of the ogre rigged and also well organized on layers. And now I want to add the faces. The reason I avoided this until now is that the face system for Rigify, while it is nice, has some problems. Uh, one of them is that unlike all other rig types, it depends on the naming of the bones to generate correctly. And that means that if you add two faces, because no two bones in Blender can have the same name, then you get one face that cannot generate correctly. And so we won't be able to generate uh, these faces straight from the meta rig, unfortunately. What we need to do is create two more meta rigs for each face, generate them, and then we'll combine them with this rig that we already have. addons.cgdive.com organizes Blender resources so that you can easily find the exact tool you need. When working with more than one meta rig, if you're not careful, you may end up overwriting one of your rigs. So it won't be that easy to lose your work, but just in case, save your file right now. And also pay attention to the way I set things up. So let's hide the main generated rig and the main meta rig. Uh, Shift C to bring this three cursor to the center. Shift A and create a single bone. Go to edit mode, find the reify buttons, search for a face, select the face sample and click add sample. And that will add the face in the bottom. Now I'm going to delete this single bone and go to object mode. Now in object mode, I'm going to move this face over one of the faces of the ogre. As a reminder, this is Joe and this is Bo. So first I'm going to work on Joe's face. And let's name this armature over rig meta rig face Joe or something like that. And then right away, I want to go to Rigify buttons in object mode, expand advanced options, click new. And for the rig name, I'm going to type ogre rig generated phase job. In newer versions of Blender, the advanced options will look like this. You won't have the new button and that's okay. Rigify used to easily overwrite rigs by default which was confusing, so that behavior was changed. The new interface and behavior is better. So all you have to do is enter the desired name in the rig name field. And do not press the upgrade face rig button yet. We will do that later in a special updated video. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this uh, face in object mode and place it over uh, Bo's face. And I'm going to change the name to face, face bow. And for the generated trick, again, I want to have the advanced options to new and the name will be generated face bow. Okay, I'll place this face in object mode right in the center of Joe's face. I'll go to edit mode, select all bones with A, switch to bounding box center and press S and scale these bones up. I'll activate x-axis mirror. This is why I place this face right in the center in object mode, that way x-axis mirror will work. From here I'll set my uh, snapping to face and I'll start snapping these bones by moving them and holding control. This is exactly as I've done it in my previous tutorials so here I'll just speed through this process.
I just realized a little weakness in my planning. In the next chapter, we'll keep adding props. And that means that we'll keep adding bones to our uh, meta rig and we'll keep regenerating the rig. And if we work on these faces further and we attach them to the main generated rig, then every time we regenerate, uh, we'll lose the faces. So the faces will need to be added at the very end. So for now, we'll leave them at this meta rig stage. I'm going to create a new sub collection inside the ogre, call it faces. I'll move my uh, faces meta rig in there and um, hide it for now. Now I'm going to check the advanced options for my main meta rig and it's set to overwrite and it's overwriting the main generated rig, so that's good. I just wanted to check if the settings are okay and we can move forward with the props. That's it for this chapter. Please like, subscribe and check out our other projects academy.cgdive.com and addons.cgdive.com